Hi guys, in this video we'll be talking about multi schema file parsing in Talent. And maybe for some of you who have not watched the previous video, uh, I want to let you guys know that this video is part of a series. And the first video in this series is file, uh, file parsing in Talent, in which I've explained different single schema file parsers and the current video that's going to be focusing on multi schema file parsers so you if you haven't watched the previous video go and watch it the link is already in the description and one more update so the next video is going to be on talent flat files parsing and that is going to be a practical demonstration we're going to dive in the details with talent studio and i'll be practically demonstrating you how to configure and how to set up different workflows uh, metadata dynamic schema and some of the points that we need to cover in the next tutorial you can already have a look on the screen if you haven't subscribed till now subscribe so that you get the notifications right away uh, moving on so uh, just a quick recap from the previous tutorial so I talked about the different single schema file parsers that are available in talent and that included, for example, CSV, Axel, JSON, XML, regular expressions, positional, and so on. Uh, I discussed those in detail in the previous one. Now, this tutorial that's going to be focusing on multi schema file parsers. And we have three different parsers for multi schema one is for the positional files, second is for the limited files, and the third is for XML files. And let's take the first one we have delimited files a uh, sample file we can already see on the screen uh, when i talk about multi schema files so such files they contain multiple schemas all mixed up and cluttered in one single file and the parser should read the file and it has to identify which schema belongs to which category and then in the output links it needs to decide which schema belongs to which one and that's that's where the function of the parsing mechanism comes into play for example we see this file so we have first schema with a unique identifier 01 then we have second schema with this uh, as I uh, put the green color along that and then we have the third schema which is by the unique identifier number three and you can see already on the bottom left so we have these three schemas and completely the schema is different for example we know we have type and song name for schema b and something else for schema a and c and uh, t file input ms delimited this is going to parse this and ultimately what what we are going to get is three different outputs from this component with those three different schemas and then we can process them or maybe we can add them in the flow uh, but this is how the functionality of this component would look like anyways I previously announced in my previous tutorial that in regards to the practical demonstration of how to set up the configuration details of these components uh, follow-up tutorials will uh, will come on so in this we we're, just, we're just going to look on some high level details of which components are available and what type of parsing schemes do we have in talent and we need to figure them out so secondly we have positional files so if we have a positional file with multiple schemas for example we can see in this case we have two schemas one is uh, yeah the one with green color and the second one with red color and when we read it when we parse it we need to identify and ultimately you're going to get output somehow like this two links and two schemas for example in this case uh, the output is going to be like this next we have XML files and in XML files we for example let's talk about the file that you can see on the screen uh, in this we have three different schemas uh, as mentioned by three different colors you can even call them three different fields for now uh, but let's suppose if we want to parse them and we want to output them in three different links 
and we consider them as three different schemas this case is looks quite simple so maybe it would be a bit difficult but ultimately uh, we want to consider them as three different schemas so we need to read them and we need to set up the details inside this component uh, maybe one more complicated case will be for example if you have this book field uh, so book object let's suppose it's not a single object it's a more granular and multi nested component a multi nested object and we cannot parse the multi nested details with this uh, with the current component as i mentioned so for such cases we need to use t extract xml fields so in that case we'll parse the data using the main component and we'll parse uh, we'll pass on those objects which require further extraction to the extract xml field it will parse those fields and they will be moving out from this component and the rest afterwards we are going to merge these fields and then we can output them somewhere and yeah ultimately this is going to be something like this as seen on the snap on the picture two different outputs or three different outputs based on the number of schemas that we have in the file and yep just a quick update once again about the next video tutorial and we'll, we'll be discussing the points as you can already see on the screen thanks a lot for watching the video subscribe and say, uh, stay posted